Well, it's time to take a look at everyone's favorite internet punching bag, Christian Weston Chandler. Tonight's article will be about Chris and anger. To call Chris an angry person would be an understatement. Chris has anger management issues that usually surface when he is under stress. Trolls refer to Chris's fits of rage as tard rage, an expression normally used to describe the seemingly superhuman strength a normally mild-tempered slow-in-the-mind displays when he or she is pushed too far and goes on an anger-fueled rampage. Although, in Chris's case, superhuman and strength can be easily replaced with impotent and bawling. Causes of Chris's anger. Chris's issues with anger may stem from being tormented in his early childhood by his abusive babysitter whom he was frequently left under the care of while Borb would go out clubbing and taking shots. She allegedly traumatized Chris by locking him alone up in a room full of toys when he was a year old. Ironically, nowadays Chris does the same to himself. Another person who may be behind Chris's anger issues could have been his late father, Bob. Being Bob's son, Chris would likely have been afraid to retaliate to the things Bob did that annoyed him, such as very rarely, very rarely washing his hands, making Chris remove videos from the damn internet, and occasionally cutting down Chris's access to the web. Chris then takes out his anger on innocent, well-meaning trolls such as Clyde Cash. Another cause of Chris's anger is the fact that up until 30 years of age, Chris was a virgin. Being a virgin seemed to make Chris feel like he was entitled to be allowed frequent moments of tard rage, seemingly as he only masturbated twice a week due to his bent duck. He may have had large amounts of testosterone stored up in his body he just needed to get out. Sexual frustration can make even the best of us a bit cranky, though never to this extreme. After supposedly losing his virginity with Mia Hamm, Chris did not hesitate in ending his two-year hiatus from Twitter just to wish death upon Michael Snyder. Furthermore, Chris is autistic and therefore lacks understanding of the social restraints of anger. When he gets angry, he sees no reason why he shouldn't go positively nuts. This and the amount of bottled up stress that autism produces has shown that autistic children can be very short-tempered. Chris, however, is not an autistic child. He is an autistic adult. And while other autistics learn how to cope with stress in other ways than tantrums by the time they're in their 30s, Chris hasn't. Somewhat ironically, Chris's autism seems to cause him a large amount of anger, since the rest of the world will not acknowledge the brilliance of Sonichu, which is apparently directly brought up from the from Chris's autism. But the one thing that causes Chris anger more than anything else is the lack of control he has over everything. His own ego refuses to allow Chris to think of anything but himself. And when things spiral out of control, he gets frustrated. When Bob demanded that Chris take down the videos of their house, Chris would only flail and tell him that he didn't know what to do, only to tell his fans to take it down for him. When someone pretends to be him and be more popular than him, he rages because he feels that it's his popularity, not the fakers. When people poke fun at him or constantly question one's gender, he goes into a hissy fit. Chris's anger issues date back to before even the formal beginning of his love quest. In 2000, he was prescribed the antidepressant Paxil, 
to help manage his frustration and anger, and he continued to take the drug for several years. Whatever effect his medication had, it clearly wasn't enough. Now take a look at this lovely specimen. That is a man filled with rage. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Example of Chris's anger. The way Chris expresses his anger can be considered confusing. To say the least, in one of his early fits of rage, he began to shout curse ye ha at several jerk cops who were trying to kick him out of a local Walmart. In general, Chris expresses anger like an internet tough guy would do, taking out his anger on a video camera, knowing that it obviously can't and won't fight back. This can be seen in one of his videos on Clyde Cash, where he seems to be hulking up. He also used to beat up representations of people he disliked in Soul Calibur. On the other hand, even as he is seemingly scared of expressing his anger in real life, he seems to have outbursts when sufficiently pushed as well. Chris was at one point forced to take anger management classes sometime after his final confrontation with Mary Lee Walsh. What happened during this epic struggle is only known in Chris's words. Then that bee dog ripped up my notes and all, dragged me to her quarters and talked down to me very rudely and hoarsely. I reacted with my own attack that she had been asking for the whole time. I was kicked out of PBCC for a year, and I had to take an anger management course and see a psychiatrist for a while. I was allowed back in. User Christian Sonichu Profile A great example of Chris's anger can be seen in one of Chris's most infamous videos, his YouTube finale. In this video, Chris repeatedly threatens poor Clyde, claiming he will indeed strangle him someday, even going as far as telling Clyde he will even commit this heinous and reprehensible act in a police station, showing Chris has no control over his angry feelings. The fact Clyde was trolling Chris in an attempt to lash out at him for his role in the fictional death of his late brother Ryan Cash shows even further how much Chris may still require a couple of anger management classes. His cameras would also benefit from some relief as he often punches them to dramatically end his more rage-infused videos. On several occasions, Chris also shouted and screamed in videos and concluded his argument with some sort of heinous threat and promptly followed this up with his trademark conclusion of saying peace and showing the peace sign or with have a nice day or something similar. Chris is apparently completely obvious to how jarring it is to go from yelling, get everything off the internet now, 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 now! to curse the trolls, peace to everyone else, immediately afterwards. I will continue my comics at the moment, but any further incident, and not only will I stop the comic, I will go to the police, all right? Back the fuck off! Have a good day. Chris will strangle that Clyde Cash. Occasionally, when enraged, his tendency to type important words in all caps becomes more prominent. Compare these two emails from the Miyamoto Saga. The first sounds fairly calm, though he does let loose one all-caps phrase. The second sounds angrier and possibly a bit desperate. Also, please inform Mr. Miyamoto, but I have just awoken inspired Sonichu-wise. I have figured out the opening title movie for Sonichu's Adventure, the prequel for the possible Pokemon Lightning version, and the monetary type collectibles in Sonic Chu's Adventure. Not rings, but C quarters and W quarters. Chris, explain shit nobody cares. Listen, people of Nintendo. During my lifetime, my family and I have invested thousands of American dollars and cents in Nintendo video games and systems from NES and Game Boy to GameCube slash Wii and DS slash GBA. I have also attached my list of video games 
I have in my collection. 90% of which were all bought brand new while available in the stores during its mint availability. Surely you can spot back about just under $800 for our trip to Seattle in advance. Chris on his knees begging for money so he can fly to Redmond, citing his extensive collection of Nintendo games as reason why Miyamoto should fork over $700. Other example of Chris's anger show him taking out his tard rage on his clown doll. In the Take That Page Down Now video, a picture of Clyde Cash was taped to the doll, and Chris beat it like a spoiled three-year-old who smashes a plate of broccoli because he didn't get his way. He also attempted to rip off its head at one point, only to have it slide out through his greasy palms. Chris would attempt to bite the doll's head off again in the sign destruction video, but fans of the doll will be relieved to know that Chris is far too weak to break anything of value. He was merely only able to tear off the clown's hat. In his video, Chris Loses It, Chris proved uh, to us that he's able to shred in half a small cardboard box, but is unable to go through light press wood. The video also shows his poor acting skills only equaled his overall stamina since he's out of breath before the end of the first minute of the video. Of the video. A rare example where Chris's anger manifests into physical violence against others would be the infamous Blarm incident where he maced a GameStop employee during his war on Sonic's new arm color. Arr! Most of the monologue in the Chris Loses It video. Another example has shown that Chris can and will blow up at people, even on the telephone. When Chris mistakenly believed that Jason Kendrick Hal had hacked his website, he left an angry voicemail. In the father call, Chris quickly became rude to Casey's father, Matthew. Especially when the man came down on Chris for his health and attitude. Even worse, when Chris talked to Casey in Liquid, he came up in arms over Liquid's continued referral of Ian Brandon Anderson and was completely oblivious over the fact that Casey was getting upset over the, the entire thing. Even worse, Chris attempted to hang up on both Matthew and Casey, only succeeding with Casey because he got his mom and dad in on the conversation. Both instances show that Chris loses his stammering and actually starts speaking normally when enraged. Around the time when Chris opened the mailbag to his adoring fans, another factor that causes Chris some notable grief was discovered to be the mention of any similarity between high-functioning autism and Asperger's syndrome. Chris has shown himself to be quite adamant that HFA and Asperger's are entirely unrelated, despite documentation by researchers suggesting quite the opposite. Whilst the anger related to this is of a far lesser magnitude in comparing to, for example, the Liquid Chris saga, it's still clear he's easily irritated by the more mere mention of the matter. If anything, the Asperger people are and have been normal. They think they can one-up or even match autism with the lack of social capability and their clumsiness and such, those characteristics can be faked by them who are most normal compared to us true autistic people. Chris, in his uh, Wikipedia article on Asperger's Syndrome, it's surprising at first how irritated Chris is by this matter. However, the Wikipedia makes it clear that Chris is angry at Asperger's sufferers for stealing the limelight from autistic people such as himself. He seems to believe that those diagnosed with the condition are faking it to get attention, attention that he feels that he deserves as an autistic person. 
Now let's take a look at how angry Chris really is. I mean, look at those eyes. That is an that is an expression of absolute malice. You better watch out or he might do something very dangerous. Now let's take a look at the reels of Chris's rage, a collection of an evolution of the rage that Chris has mustered over the first few years of his time on the internet. Well, that was riveting. Anyway, that does it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at rghyme91. And if you want to donate to my uh, PayPal, the link is in the description, as well as other links as well. That being said, I am Rickzilla, and I will see you guys in the near future.